Today we're with Jack Short and he's gonna talk about this unique tool. Jack, what prompted the design of this tool? Well, in my ATIS shop, I got a lot of cars that came in after a collision repair from dealerships, from collision shops, that the blind spot was inoperative. After removing a bumper and checking them out, they were all off by, or the alignment was off, vertically or horizontally. And I realized quickly that there isn't one tool that the body shop can use that will quickly align the tool and figure out what angles you need to be. So this is not, I think it's important to note that it's not a calibration tool. This is part of the repair process to make sure that that blind spot mounting location is in the proper location. Is that correct? That's correct. So when the technician is repairing the vehicle, you can look it up on the charts that I provide or from the service manual and know what the angles are supposed to be. And without this measuring tool, it's almost impossible to get it correctly. Okay. Now, do all vehicle makers have specifications or can you help us out with that? Some of them will give it to you in millimeters um, from the mounting nuts or screws of the blind spot. So you would see that if you measure one of the mounting screws, it would be at 198 millimeters from the center. And the other one will be 177 millimeters from the center. And if you take those measurements, you could come up with the angle. But that's time consuming and it's a lot involved. So at Radar Collision, we simplified it. We just simply put up a chart of all the years, makes and models with the exact specification they're supposed to be in. And we also provide free tech support. So if you do get a vehicle that we don't have it on the chart, we can look it up and assist you with the right angle. One thing that I really like about this cool tool is that, again, I can incorporate it into that repair process as well, right? So as I'm putting on my quarter panel, if I'm making sure all my three-dimensional measurements are accurate, this is just an, is another tool that I can use to make sure that my mounting locations are proper because those can be a challenge. They're not always published, is that yes. correct? They're not yeah. always published, and also the mounting location differs from vehicle to vehicle. And also a lot of manufacturers, you're going to replace the quarter panel. You have to buy a separate bracket, and that bracket has to be spot welded. To where it belongs and often there's no markings so this tool is essential when you write up the car to identify that you need time to do it and then it's essential as you repair the car it gives you a visual reference to get it into angle as you're doing the repair yeah because we can't really see that two or three degree off that it might be in or even a couple of millimeters that it might be off and and that can have a dramatic effect on the actual yes. Yes. alignment of it yes it would have because the way the sensor is mounted it's very hard in that atmosphere to see any angles. There's nothing you have to compare it to. Like if you look at a door opening, you can look at the lines, you look at a bumper, you look at a headlight, you kind of can figure out where it is. But when you're looking at a raw body with a sensor mounted, you really don't have a visual reference. You could be off by 10 degrees and you stand in the back of the car and it looks almost perfectly straight. So this tool is essential to identify that. And I can use this on all makes and models of vehicles? That's the cool part about it, is that there's no other accessories. Everything that's included in the kit is ready to go. And it will work on any vehicle that the radar is mounted on the rear of the vehicle to the body panel. So what's included in the kit? Right. Included in the kit is the center alignment tool. And then you have the measuring plate. Then you have the RSW ruler and two digital electronics. Okay. One, is the, one is a simple vertical measurement and the other one is a protractor that's all that's included in the kit and the instructions and the warranty and the tech and you mentioned about lifetime support if i buy the tool i've got some lifetime support available yes as well. yes we're available through email on our website or through the phone where we would answer all the questions we even offer training at our facilities in cape coral florida for any shop that wants to get some training for the guys to know how to use it yeah, we have this tech support is very important to us. Okay. Now, at the end of the day, you know, again, we are, we're, we're running a business. We want to make some money as well. How can I incorporate this and to become a profitable business around this particular application? With this tool, it is so easy to set up when you're doing the teardown. And now you have documentation, how many degrees it's out and where it should be. And you can request that time on your estimate. And again, and I don't want to, if I'm going to send the vehicle for calibration, I want to make sure that that sensor is in the proper location rather than have it come back and forth. Right. So that's a good point. Yeah. The sensor must be where it's supposed to be according to the specs of the vehicle in order for it to work properly. If it's misaligned and you send that car out to the dealership, 
they're not going to do the body work for you. But the number one job, it must be aligned properly. And, and you and I were talking earlier about, you know, again, you've got, you've got, you're, you're, you're physically touching, it's mechanical, we're not using lasers, we can actually see it with our, with our eyes and make sure that we're in a proper location. Right. And I think that's kind of a, I think that's a key point as well. Uh, so again, as a technician that's, that is a kinesthetic learner and we work with our hands and we're, we're constantly looking at vehicles, again, we can see with the setup where things are at and really rather than try to visualize them right. um, in some abstract space, if you will. Right. That's very important for the body shop. Because if you design a digital computerized system, we could have come up with any way to measure this. But we wanted something visual and something that's referenced. And the setup is pretty quick and easy as well, right? And again, I think that's another key point of during my repair process, I can, I can check my locations. I can make any more adjustments I need to mount up again. So, Jack, can you walk us through the process for setting this up? Yes. The first step is to set up the main frame on the rear tire. And that is the main frame is set up from taking a measurement from the center line of the rear tire and just laid across the car. Okay. The second part is to put the measuring plate into the main frame. And then we set up the ruler to the radar height and we're ready to take our measurement. This takes less than five minutes to set up once the bump is removed on the vehicle. And so how do I check the vertical alignment? The vertical alignment is, is checked with the regular inclimeter. And the specs on the tech support specs are going to tell you what they should be. On most vehicles, they're exactly straight. 90 degrees is what it should be. Some vehicles have a tight, a slight tilt upwards. Um, some of the SUVs have a slight tilt upwards, but most of them are 90. So with the vertical meter, we can take that measurement right away. We can do it on the right side, on the left side, and we can compare the two measurements. And how do I get my horizontal alignment? The horizontal, we're going to use the ruler stick in the kit. Once the mainframe is laid out and the plate is in place, we simply adjust the, the height of the radar sensor and we just push it flush against the radar. And that gives us those two measurements on the same plate. Once we get the vertical aligned to the radar sensor, then we have those two angles onto the plate. We have the center line of the vehicle and then we have the radar line on the plate. And then we can just use our protractor to get the exact degree of the number that you need. Now, there's not a lot of adjustment available on these blind spot sensors, so it's important that they're in a proper location. Is that correct? Yes. If there's no adjustment, the only way is to repair the panel to 100% accuracy for that sensor to mount correctly. And this tool makes it easy. Well, it seems like a lot of information. It seems pretty complicated. Is it, is it complicated? So once you come to become familiar with the vehicle, it's pretty simple. Once you have a way to measure it, and you know from the center line where you're supposed to be, it's very easy to do. And again, I think that's one thing that makes this really a cool tool, is that as I'm putting my quarter panel on, as I'm doing my repair procedures, I can make sure that that blind spot monitoring sensor location is proper. Um, that's what really makes it a cool tool. Now, where can I go for more information about this cool tool? RadarCollision.com. So check out RadarCollision.com for this cool tool.